man and the golden fish Once upon a time there was an old man who liked fishing One day he picked up his fishing rod and went to the lake to fish after having his dinner When he reached the lake it was getting dark There was a boat lying near the lake The old man got into the boat and rowed to the center of the lake He began fishing in the center of the lake After a while he fell asleep Suddenly the fish rod began to shake and the old man woke up He pulled up the fishing rod he had caught a fish He was surprised to see a golden fish Even more surprising was that it talked to the old man Can you let me go please the fish pleaded the old man No I will eat you the old man said please let me go if you let me go i will give you a golden rope the fish said greed is a curse the fish asked the old man to put the fishing rod into the lake after a few minutes he would get the golden rope the old man did the same in a few minutes when he pulled up the fishing rod he saw a golden rope attached to the fishing line the golden rope must be very long he thought He was overjoyed and he continued pulling the golden rope. The fish now asked him to let her go as the man had already got his rope. "No, I won't let you go. I am going to sell you," said the old man. He then kept the fish into a container full of water and continued pulling the golden rope. As he pulled up the golden rope, his boat began to sink, but he continued pulling as he was too greedy and wanted to get all of the golden rope finally his boat sank and the old man died stopping halfway in the state of wei lived a man named liangxi one day liangxi found a piece of gold on his way home and he ran home to show it to his wife she looked at it and said it is said that a true man never drinks the stolen water How can you pick up another's loss and possess it as your own? Liangxi took it back to where it was. The next day Liangxi went to a distant place to study. After a year, he suddenly returned home. His wife was weaving on the loom. He explained how he missed her. Angrily, she picked up a pair of scissors and cut down what she had woven. Liangxi was puzzled. She declared, "If something is stopped halfway, it is just like the cut cloth." on the loom the cloth will only be useful if it is finished and so it is with your studies liangxi was deeply moved by his wife who left home and went on with his studies several years later he became a very learned man the faithful gander once upon a time a sportsman of tinstein allured a wild goose he was followed to his home by the gander The gander flew around him in a great sorrow throughout the day. He went away only at nightfall. The next day, when the sportsman went out, there was the gander again. It came close and sat near his feet. He was about to seize it when suddenly it stretched out its neck and chucked out a piece of pure gold. The sportsman understood what the gander tried to say and cried, "I see." This is the ransom to release your mate, isn't it? He at once released the goose, and the two birds flew away happily. But before flying away, they left to the sportsman nearly three ounces of pure gold. Animals and birds too have feelings. There is no sorrow like separation from those. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.